Right now, I'm in the town of Lukovsky in the Moscow region at the MiG factory, where our Navy jet fighters are manufactured, the MiG-29K and the MiG-29 NCT. The two types of the naval jet fighters are made from the same body, only the MiG-29K has an extra fuel tank instead of the cabin space for the second pilot. One of the main distinctions between any Navy aircraft is the presence of a special landing device called the tail hook. This is the thing that all Navy planes can't do without. Using this tail hook, the plane grabs onto the cable of the carrier and the process makes the plane itself break. How exactly does this thing come in? How does it slide? How does the pilot control this whole process? During takeoff, the tail hook is obviously hidden. It goes in thanks to the cylinder which is installed under the tail hook. Before beginning the landing process, while the pilot is choosing the glide path, he presses the tail hook release button, wherein the tail hook comes out almost in a vertical position and the hook comes out to its lowest point. Is it the lowest point of the aircraft at that given moment? Yes, it's the lowest point of the plane during the landing position. This is the kind of device that stops the multi-ton machine by grabbing onto the cable, which is why the tail hook is built to last just as long as the aircraft. But the tail hook isn't the only technological distinction of the MiG-29K. New reinforced chassis were developed for the Navy plane, for the main chassis, as well as the front chassis. It was done to make the plane even more stable during the takeoff from the ramp and for the landing onto the deck. Besides that, the naval aircraft is different due to having folding wings, which can be controlled from the cabin through a special hydraulic mechanism. They fold up in half right in the middle to save room in the hangar of the aircraft carrier. In such a position, the wingspan is equal to 7.8 meters. 